Hello guys, welcome to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohammed Ali and from this tutorial onward we are going to start making advanced C# -sharp tutorials using Visual Studio. And also we will start making or developing desktop application using Visual Studio. I mean we will be developing console applications, Windows application and web-based applications using C# -sharp in Microsoft Visual Studio. So in this tutorial I am going to download and install Visual Studio. The latest version of the Visual Studio. Go to Google, okay, open Google and here you can simply write VISUL Visual Studio and click enter. Press enter and you can see the first link which is Visual Studio IDE Color Editor and the link is www.visualstudio.com so this is the official website of the of the Microsoft Visual Studio so click on the first link okay click on it and here we are Visual Studio so here you can simply click on this downloads Scroll down here and here it is Visual Studio Community 2017. Now here click on this download. And wait for a few seconds. The download will start automatically. You can see that it says welcome to Visual Studio. No thanks. So if the download uh, not start automatically then uh, here it is written that is if your download does not begin click here to retrieve. So click here and now the download will start. So you can see that the download starts here. Visual Studio Community VS Community dot X. So wait for it. It will took few seconds to download. So you can see that the Visual Studio.x file is uh, downloaded successfully. You can see that, okay. So now I will simply click here. So uh, here you can simply click on this join folder. And you can see that the file.x file of the Visual Studio is downloaded successfully. Now I will double click on it. And you can see that. So almost done getting everything ready. So wait for it. Now a new window will appear. From there we will uh, install the environments. So here we go. So from here you can select this .NET Desktop Development. Okay, the C Sharp Visual Basic, and we will be needing the Universal Windows Platform Development. And you can also uh, download the C++ if you want to do, uh, I mean, if you want to install the C++ environment in the Visual Studio. But for now, we will be developing C Sharp applications, desktop application, console applications, and ASP.NET development, I mean, for the web applications. So I select these two. And also, the next one which I will select is the... So the next one will be the ASP.NET and web development. So these three, okay. And now uh, click on install. So you can see that it is now starting. So wait for it. It will took about, about an hour, one hour or something round about that. It depend upon on your internet speed. So wait for it.
so it will complete soon so we have to wait for it So the download is complete successfully and you can see it alongside with that the packages are installing alongside with the download files okay so now when it completes then we will run the visual studio so let it complete the installation process So you can see that it is uh, we have downloaded and installed this Visual Studio successfully. Now it will ask for uh, reboot. So once it's complete this processing, okay. So wait for it. So you can see that. So now uh, here we can uh, you if you have a microsoft account then you can uh, sign in using your microsoft account but if you have not then you can simply click on this not now maybe later okay but i have a microsoft account so i want to connect it to my visual studio so i will click on this sign in and it says uh, we are getting things ready thanks for your practicing so here i will enter my email and then I will click on next so I sign in, sign in my using my uh, Microsoft account okay and now it is loading and it will now open the visual studio for us So you can see that the Microsoft Visual Studio is launched successfully. So in this way we have successfully download and install the Microsoft Visual Studio 2017 which is the latest version. So let's create a new project. So click on this create new project so that we can check. I mean the first see we will write our first hello world program in order to check either it is working or not. I mean the compiler is working or not so now from here we will uh, select this visual C sharp you can see that okay so this is the visual C sharp click on it and now after uh, selecting the visual C sharp from here we can select console app dot net framework select this one you can write here your project name so let's uh, give it a name as uh, first program and you can uh, change i mean click here on this browser where you want to save your these c sharp programs or or your projects so i will uh, select any folder where i want to store these okay so i have folder name c sharp tutorials so i will simply select that folder and click this select folder so my all programs or you can say this uh, C sharp programs will be stored there and after that click OK so you can see that my new project is launched successfully so as you guys can see that our project is launched successfully now I will write a simple hello world program just to check that either the compiler is working or not so I will write here console dot write line inside this we can write the quotation so we can say hello world and make sure to put a semicolon here at the end 
now to run this we can simply press the control F5 so press control F5 and our program will run okay so you can see that uh, the program is working uh, correctly which prints hello world so in this way we have uh, successfully installed the visual studio 2017 and uh, this is in this video we just install and download and install the visual studio and from the next uh, tutorial onward we will uh, proper start the advanced c-sharp tutorials and we i will explain everything which we wrote here okay this system and all these things okay so we will uh, properly start this c sharp uh, advanced c sharp tutorials using visual studio and we will be developing the c sharp console application windows application and asp.net applications so that's it for this video and if any, anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe thumbs up for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now